What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a topic that doesn't get a lot of attention that it rightfully deserves, and that is NFC, otherwise known as Near Field Communication. Now before we get into the weeds of things, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more videos, you guys know the drill, and let's talk NFC. So first and foremost, if you've ever gone to a store to pay with Apple Pay or scanned your device to make any sort of transaction, or maybe you went to your local transit system, be it the subway, the light rail, and you just had to scan your iPhone or your Apple Watch to you know, walk on through, that's enabled by NFC technology and you can create tons of experiences using that same tech and we're actually going to be doing that today. We're going to talk about Identive which offers a thriving ecosystem and utilities to build out those experiences. And actually, in addition to that, the folks at Identive were kind enough to send on over a You Create NFC Tag Kit. Now, this includes some NFC tags as well as a companion app for developers to actually get their hands on NFC tech, see what it's like, how they can build their own. And it actually goes even a step further where Identive has provided a SDK that you can bring right into Xcode. It supports Android as well to build out NFC experiences, and that is exactly what we are going to be doing today. So without further ado, I'm ready to get into this NFC tag kit that Identiv was nice enough to send over. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's take a look at their app, and then we're going to get our hands right in the code. We're going to open up Xcode, what you guys expect to see here on this channel, what you guys came here to see. So that said, let's go in and open this guy up. All right, so here is the packet that they had sent on over. You've got some uh, branding, of course, so we can slide out this pouch. And inside of this pouch, we have a actual packet with a little flip tab, I think, on the back here. So let's go ahead and flip that open. Got some more identive branding on here, building experiences. Let's pull out, feels like a couple tags and cards. So cool, that's basically the packet. And then inside here, we have a couple actual NFC tags and a couple information cards. So let me see where we should start. So we've got this tag card here, which actually shows us, you know, like what's included. And the one behind it here actually details getting, you know, your tag up and running using the app. You've got a QR code to download the app, presumably, and then some literature here about going to the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. You've got actual tags and what each item is. They offer a card. There's like a circular tag. They're all labeled and presumably right here. So if we take a look at these, the first ones are these uh, cards. Let's, uh, so I got them upside down here, so let me flip them around. So we've got, I believe, three or four of these, and these actually are units you can test with. Now, you can actually use their app, which we'll take a look at momentarily, to actually scan these and see, uh, you know, if you can read them and send messages. And then now we have these, you know, other tags down here. There's, uh, looks like four of these guys. Three, three or four, here we go, four of these. And then we've got some more tags below it there. So it's a pretty nice kit. It offers a variety of different tags and tag types for you to go ahead and test with. And the most important aspect of all of these tags, uh, to start off with at least, is their little tag kit here, which shows their app. So this little pamphlet will show you can download the app. Let's go ahead and set that app up and see what it's all about. All right, so I've got my phone here with the Identive app installed, free on the App Store, of course, and I've got one of those cards that we just pulled out of the pouch. So let's go ahead and open this guy up, and there's an option to first read the tag and then send messages. So we first wanna actually read the tag, and then when we send a message, we'll see the output at the bottom. So if I hit read the tag, we get the system sheet that I can hover over this tag like so. And it's pretty quick and snappy, you can see like that. And then the send message dropdown gets populated. So now I can basically select a message and let's go with this one here. And now we can actually hit the button below that and we'll go ahead and send that to the actual tag and you'll see the response. And once again, you get the same bottom sheet, very snappy, very nice UI. And this app basically demonstrates once again that, you know, how these tags work and what experiences you can build. So these types of tags are pretty cool. They're found in a variety of places, retail shops, you know, transit, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a good intro into the types of experiences that you can actually build with this uh, framework and tooling. 
All right, so now we're going to get our hands into the code and build out our own NFC experience with the Identive SDK. So first things first, we've got Xcode here. We're going to be working with iOS. So go ahead and get Xcode fired up and create a new project. We're going to want to stick with the app template under iOS, and we're going to title this project NFC. Uh, experience demo just like that make sure your language is set to Swift and for the interface you can use whatever you'd like we're gonna stick with storyboard for today go ahead and continue and save your project wherever you'd like I'll toss it onto my desktop and first thing we need to actually do is bring in the identive framework so you can download this from the identive website links down below in here you'll see there is a respective iOS and Android folder there's also a documentation PDF so we're going to open up the iOS folder and what we want to actually drag into our project is the folder with the suffix dot framework. So we're going to go ahead and grab it, drag it on in. And once we get this box, make sure these respective checkboxes are checked. Go ahead and hit finish and we're good to go. Now, before we can actually use the framework, there is a little bit of legwork that we need to do, and that is uh, going into our signing and capabilities first things first in here We're gonna hit plus capability and we need to tell our project that we're gonna be using near fields communication So if you search for NFC or near in there, you'll need to add this to your project capabilities Now while we're here We're gonna go into the info tab and really similar to any other consent that your app needs from the user like camera or privacy for microphone we need to add one for NFC tag reading as, as well. So if we go ahead and start typing NFC after privacy, we'll see this one autocomplete and we're going to add a string to the tune of please allow access to scan your tag just like that. And the last thing that we need to do before we can start writing some code is go into our build phases and we need to embed the framework. So we're going to hit plus. We're going to hit new copy file phase. Now in here, we need to change the destination to frameworks. We're going to hit plus and in this dropdown, we're going to hit the NFC framework that Identiv has provided, which is this one here. Now that we've got that there, we can jump into our view controller and we're ready to roll. So in the code, the first thing we want to do is actually import the framework that Identive has provided. So it's Identive NFC framework, just like that. If you see a warning pop up here, it's uh, not a breaking warning. You can ignore it for the time being. But let's actually get into what you need to do to read a tag. So you can first create an actual tag by simply doing instance of a Identive NFC tag. And it's really that simple. Now, of course, you need to get events from the tag, things like when you connect to the tag, when you read, you know, the info from the tag, if you send a tag messages, you know, back and forth, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And the tag object has a delegate off of it that we are going to assign and respectively conform to up here. Now, this delegate has a ton of functions on here to interact with various events. The ones that I think are most interesting are did connect to tag. We can go ahead and print out tag type. And there is things like did receive uh, a message or tag message, not memory warning. So let's go ahead and type in message. So there's did read NDEF message and did write NDEF message. Now, if you're not able to find any particular type of object like this NFC one that it's yelling about, you can go ahead and up here, import core NFC, and this will resolve. And inside of here, we can simply go ahead and print out the message. Now comes the interesting part of how do you actually go about uh, triggering that system bottom sheet where you get the UI to scan the actual tag. And it's incredibly simple, actually, with what Identive has provided here. The first thing we want to do is create a new NDEF reader session. Now, there is a standard session, and then there's also a writer session where you can send messages back and forth to the tag. Now, once we've created the session, we're simply going to say, you guessed it, we're going to say read the NDEF. Now, a lot of acronyms going on here. I'm going to link this down below. NFC has a lot of RFCs and various specs around it in terms of different tag types, which is the next thing I wanted to touch on here. You can actually specify a tag type, and I'll link some documentation down below where you can go deep into the various standards that are available. 
Now I've got my physical device hooked up here in the drop down. Of course, you need to test on a physical device for scanning tags. We're going to go ahead and hit Command B to build and Command R to run on the device. And I'll get my device screencasted and up on the screen right about now. And we should see once the app launches, we're going to get the actual bottom UI, which will ask the user to scan a NFC tag. And that's basically all you need to do to integrate NFC tag reading into your application. Now, you're going to see some info in the console here. If you see anything that is causing your app to crash, chances are it's one of two things. Either you forgot to add the capability and privacy string in info here, or you have forgotten to embed the framework in build phases. So make sure you do those three steps. Make sure you're using, of course, a device that has the NFC chip, which most modern Apple products, uh, amongst you know a variety of other products, Android alike, do, and you'll be good to go. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So. Identive offers this thriving ecosystem where you can go request these tags, use their test app, and build out really unique experiences leveraging NFC, which really bridges a gap between your app and real world tasks like transit, payments gateways, think of things like Square payments terminals, etc, etc. So that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in NFC, if you want to see more fuller apps built out, any feedback that you guys have, check out Identive, linked down below, and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.